a while back I created a sci-fi um, security camera it was a kind of a circular one a round one and I'm going to do a different style uh, this time so I'm starting with the default cube and I'm going to press control 2 and I'm going to apply that subdivision go into edit mode press 3 for face selection and we're going to circle or paint select I think it is all that control I to invert the selection and delete those faces a to select and SX just to stretch it out a little bit more rectangular like that a to select it all three to look from the side and SY zero to flatten that now when edge selection we're going to select all these edges going around and press E and S and pull it out a little bit like that Okay, press 3 to look from the side and press E to extrude. Pull back in the Y and up a little bit like this. And then E to extrude and just come out straight a little bit like that. Okay, that's our basic shape. Control 2 for two subdivisions and shade smooth. Come back into edit mode and let's put some edge loops like this. Tighten this up and sharpen it. Like that. We'll have another one here. We'll leave it at that for the moment so you see the general shape we're getting press 3 for face selection and C and let's paint all of these we're going to delete those delete those faces and shift alt and click that and scale it in just a little bit and then E and S bring it in and then right click loop to a circle all right I'm going to put another edge loop up here just to sharpen that this is our general shape that we're getting here and we've got this let's grab that and S to scale it just a little bit out into the middle and now I'm going to press control B to bevel and pull and I just want the space like that E to extrude and pull it back in the Y a little bit control R and pull an edge loop in to tighten that up and there and we'll have this Okay, next I'm going to grab this and just shrink it down a little bit. I'm going to control R to put an edge loop right in the middle. And then three for face selection, looking from the front, press C. And select those four, those four, those four, and those four. All right, press I to inset, hold shift. Did I say inset? I meant inset. Hold shift and pull in like this. And then loop to circle. And then quickly switch over to individual origins and S to scale so that none of the edges cross over. Get the size that you want, something like this. And then you can switch back to median point, S to scale and pull it up a little bit. So we have this. Now you can rotate each of these a little bit if you don't like the way the edges are, but it shouldn't cause a problem. So let's press I to inset, hold shift, pull it in a little bit like that and then E to extrude and push it back. So we have some holes for some bolts. So there's the main body right there. Let's turn on the cavity shader. All right, next thing I'm going to do is in edge selection, shift alt and click that. I'm gonna press E to extrude. I'm gonna pull in a little bit, but then I'm gonna scale it a little bit like that. And then I'm gonna press E to extrude and come in a little bit more. Now I'm gonna add some edge loops, pull up and pull down. So we have this. All right, next, let's uh, grab one of these edges. Shift S, cursor selected, just to bring a 3D cursor there. I'm gonna make the glass that goes over the hole now, and I'm going to use another cube. All right, so I've got that. I'm gonna scale it down a little bit and then control two for two subdivisions. And I can go ahead and apply that and I'll come in and I'll scale it a little bit more to fit. I'm going to press 3 to look from the side and go into wireframe and 1 for vertex selection and select all this except for the middle there. So we'll have that half there. All right, and I'll scale it a little bit more so I get a little bit of that slope and pull it in just a little bit like that. Okay, I'm going to control 1 for one more subdivision and shade smooth. Okay, now I want to put some stuff in behind that. So to make it visible, I'm going to come over here to the object properties and go down to viewport display and where it says display as I'm going to change that to wire so I can look through it my 3d cursor is still there so now we're going to make the camera lens and the uh, the glass so I'm going to bring in a UV sphere but I'll change the values to 18 
and 10. Scale it down a little bit, rotate X90, scale it and get it inside there. I'm gonna pull it back. I'm gonna pull it back until this edge here is kind of in the middle there. Look at the back and in vertex selection, select that. Control plus a few times till I get up to, we'll try there first of all and see. And uh, I may go one more, get rid of those as well. Take these and I'm gonna press E and S. And I just want that to come out and just overlap there so it blocks the light. So this is gonna be my version of this thing. Now, I could probably make this a little bit bigger and do it like that. All right, let's keep working on this. Let's take this vertex and control plus and then delete. So I have this row of vertices left. Shift alt and click this edge. Look from the side and we'll make the lens part of this E. Come out a little ways. E and S and come in a little ways. E, pull that in, but I'm going to angle it. E and come back. E and S, I'm gonna come in, but I think I may angle this one as well. Hmm, maybe not. And uh, a little bit bigger than that, and then E and come down in. All right, now I'll put the glass in there. All right, I'm going to grab uh, these sharp edges, 90 degree edges, and bevel them. Control B, I want two, three segments in there. I'm going to bevel this one too, I think, just a small bit like that. And we'll, we'll add two subdivisions, but we'll need some more. Uh, edge loops in here. So select this. I'm going to drag an edge loop down here. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to take this. I'm going to turn off the subdivision for the moment. And I'm going to ask the scale. I'm going to pull that out a little bit. It doesn't have to be exactly straight going back, uh, but it, it reason, it's probably better if it is. Uh, I'm going to bevel that a little bit like that. I'll put an edge loop in here. I'll need another one down there. I'll need another edge loop coming in here uh, just for support when I put on the subdivision. So I'll put that back on. We'll have a look at this. I'm going to put some LED lights uh, around there. And this is what I have here. I can always drag an edge loop in there. And that's fine. We'll do a few little details in Substance Painter, maybe around there. And uh, maybe a split along there. Uh, let's see. So that's probably not bad for what I need to do. So let's just think about the LEDs. Um, my 3D cursor is still right there. So let's go ahead and build something. Uh, circle of 16 vertices. I could go more than that. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'm just going to bring that out and go into edit mode and F to make a face. Scale it down a bit more. Rotate X. 90. And uh, let's just bring that up and scale it so that I get a size that I'm going to like. We're going to spin that around in a bit. Okay, so I've got that. So let's do this. Let's extrude back and then E and S and come out and then E and come back. I'm not going to get rid of the back face yet. I will soon. Select that face and control B and pull all the way down here and roll your mouse up a few times and then bevel this edge right here just with three okay i'll shade smooth and i'll probably throw in an edge loop right about there i will be getting rid of the back soon and that'll help with the shading issues but for spinning it seems that i need to have that um so let's just focus in on that i'm going to scale it down a bit and rotate it and just position it coming out here like that something like that okay and uh, before I go any further I'm going to apply some materials I'm going to select this and I'm going to come down to about there and I think I'll put an emission on this part so I'm going to create a material and I'm going to call this emissive and then I'm going to press um, control I here control I and add another material here and I'm going to call this just body 
and uh, make sure I assign and I better actually come up here emissive and assign so I'll deselect so let's say I choose the body select okay deselect emissive select deselect okay that's okay I'll do the other materials in a bit so we've got that there uh, so I'm going to go into edit mode my 3d cursor is still in the middle so I'm going to scroll down here to the spin switch to the Y pull on this and then change the angle here to 360 degrees and I'm going to leave it at 12 steps I'm going to recalculate outside just in case and uh, go back to there and there so that's what those are going to look like I'm going to take that slash key to focus on them and I'm going to come in and in face selection I'm going to select all these back faces now and get rid of them okay so we have that all right and that is the modeling right there pretty much unless you want to add little little details by all means you can so i've done some materials on this this one is going to have the body material this one is going to have the body material and this one is going to have glass i'm going to switch just to material but i'm going to rename that as glass So a glass, and then uh, two materials, body, body, and that's it. Now, um, I'm going to pull this out, and I'm going to switch back to textured view. And I will go ahead and do some UV unwrapping here. So I'm going to switch over to the UV editor. And with this one selected, so I see something in here, I'm going to use the UDIM method or UV tiles. I'm gonna press N and view. This is where I can change my grid. Otherwise, if you have a newer version of Blender, I believe it's up here. All right, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna make this probably five, press N to close that and we'll see. Now, this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my subdivision, come in and press U unwrap and I'm just going to do it like that that'll fill up the whole space that'll be my glass then I'm going to hide that next is going to be the body I'm going to apply the subdivision I'll, I can try merge by distance I don't think anything will happen and you could use either smart UV project or cube project and I'm going to try cube project on this one select everything and then um, once you've done that uh, you want to pack now you can use blender to pack all right, I'm going to use Packmaster 3 and just pack like that. But I'm going to move it out of this UV space because I've already got the glass in the occupying this particular UV tile. So I'm going to move it to here. So I'm going to press GX1. All right, and then I'm going to hide that. We'll, we'll have a look at all of them in a bit. Now we have this part here. I'm going to go ahead and control A to apply that and come in. Make sure I'm saving. You just unwrap. And I'll get a big mess like this. It's very tight, but I'm, I can go. I can work with that. And I'm going to move that up to here. So it's GX2, and I'm going to hide that. And then the last ones are these. And I'm just going to unwrap. And as you can see, I'm not adding any seams or anything to these. Now for this one, though, I'm going to select them and pack and see if I get them a bit better. And these ones are going to come up to here. I believe a GX3. Uh, let's see. Uh, I may have to go one more. Let's just bring everything back and save and have a look at what I've got. Yeah, okay. So it looks like I've got the glass. I've got the main body. I've got uh, this, uh, the lens part, and I've got those uh, like LED lights. And I think that's all I need. So I don't necessarily need that last one. So I'll come to view and I'll just knock that back down to, to four. Okay, now you'll notice that I've left this out here. And the reason is when I go into Substance Painter, um, because of the way it bakes the mesh maps and uses ambient occlusion and stuff, um, there is an interaction between objects that are close. And so if this covers this piece here, uh, it will create a shadow or an ambient occlusion on this that I don't necessarily want. So I've sort of exploded the model, so this won't impact this. And then once I start texturing it, I can just bring it back in and update Substance 
painter uh, the, the project file and it's not going to be a problem at all. So I'm going to leave it like that. So that is going to be it for this particular video, except what we'll do is we'll come back here and we'll have a look at the statistics. So I've used some subdivision. I'm up at 30,000. Uh, the rest is going to be texturing, so there's no more modeling. So, I mean, you could decide to do this a little bit lower poly. I mean, you, you know, there is a lot of detail in there. You could probably get rid of a lot of this stuff, but I'm not going to worry about it um, at all. All right, so there's the first part, the modeling of this. In the next video, we'll texture this in Substance Painter. Thanks very much.